The ARP 2600 not only put ARP as a company on the map, but it was also used in several colleges and high schools to teach the basics of synthesis. The great thing about the ARP 2600 is that it is semi-modular. This means there are no connections necessary to produce a sound. But, if you wish, you can create a new synthesis structure simply by repatching it. Perhaps what made the ARP 2600 so famous was its great special effects ability. Let's take a listen to just one of these. Finally, Tim Carmel and Andrew Goucher explore some of the sounds of the ARP 2600V. I actually have a couple of the old keyboards and yeah, you know, they can go out of tune on you at any point in time, so you don't have to deal with that. But the sounds, definitely, and the warmth and the bigness of them, two thumbs up. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> With Arturia's recreation, you also get the famous ARP sequencer 1601 that was not a part of the original 2600. This allows you to make a wide variety of sounds. But the special effects are not the only feature of the ARP. There is also a large bank of polyphonic pads and fat bass sounds. One of the added features that you can find in Arturia's ARP 2600V is the chorus and delay, which is hidden away behind this grill for those who prefer to see the synth as the original player might have. The tracking generator, another addition of Arturia, allows you to draw your own control signals. Due to the synth's flexible architecture and patch cables, it can be assigned to virtually any module you like. As you can hear, the ARP 2600V comes through with a lot of great possibilities. Even if you'd prefer not to bother with creating your own sounds, there are hundreds of available presets that you can pull from to keep your music flowing. You can rest assured that you will not run out of possibilities on the ARP 2600V.